In section 15, we'll be talking about radicals. Many of you haven't seen a square root <laughs> since you were working on your hypotenuse of a triangle. In this section, we'll go into much more detail about what a radical is and how to use them in math. Let's take the radical n or the nth root of a equals b, where b to the n is equal to a. The n is called the index. If we're talking about a square root, the square root of a equals b, where b squared is equal to a. The index on a square root is always 2. So if we say square root, it's automatically implied that the index right here is a 2. Radicals divide the exponent by the index. When we divide the exponent by the index, the whole number is how many things come out of the, in, of the radical sign. And the remainder is how many things remain or stay under the radical sign. In example one, we have the square root of a to the third. Notice that if we have an index that doesn't have anything there, as we set up here with the square root, it's assumed to be a two. The exponent is three. Remember, if we want to figure out how to simplify a radical, We simply take the exponent and divide the exponent by the index. As we said again, the index is 2, so that's what we're dividing by. When we divide 3 by 2, we get 1 and a remainder of 1. So, if we want to simplify the square root, we would write it as a root a. And here's why. Remember that when we have radicals, we divide the exponent by the index, and the whole number is how many things come out. So notice that our, ba our base is a, and that base came out one time. The remainder is the base that remains, and that's one, because our remainder was one. So this is our simplified radical. In example two, we have an exponent of 19 and an index of 4. Again, we take the exponent, 19, and divide it by the index, which is 4. When we do this, We have 4 times 4, which is 16, and a remainder of 3. This tells us how many bases come outside the radical and how many remain inside. 4 b 
B's can come out and three remain. So B times B times B times B are the number of B's that come out and the number that remain are B times B times B. Notice that the remainder is three B's and the part that comes out is four B's. The way you can write this in a much simpler way, so you can write it just like exponential type notation, is B to the fourth, fourth root of B to the third. And that is your simplified radical for example two.